Today, I'm going to be showing you how to build a dripstone farm for Minecraft 1.17. The item list is in the description below and also over here too, so you can easily see it. And if you're wondering these moss blocks, you can also replace them with melon blocks too. You can also change the collection system to make it even bigger, so you can have more chests and more hoppers, because this farm's really quick. And the torch is just to light up the under area, because sometimes mobs can actually spawn under there, because of the light level under the farm. Now I'm going to go through some information about the farm and also how it actually works. So this farm is expandable, so you can expand it in any direction whatsoever. This farm is 99.9% .9 reliable, and I'm only saying that because if you unload the chunks, and the flying machine is flying back and forward, it can actually stop the flying machine. And this farm is very cheap for what you actually get, and it's really fast, like compared to most dripstone farms. This farm is a flying machine based dripstone farm, so it uses the flying machine to destroy the dripstone. Now you do need all these dripstones at the top, to start this farm. This farm uses water streams to transport the items and it will transport the items to a chest system over here which you can actually make bigger if you want to. The dripstone will be destroyed twice a day using this daylight sensor over here and the observer. Now over here I've got some repeaters here. So I've got a 4 tick delay repeater here. Then I've got two other 4 tick delay repeaters here. I've got a sticky piston with an observer and this will trigger this piston. Now water is required for dripstones to grow so you're going to need quite a lot of water. And also the dripstone blocks too are required. Dripstone will form on the ground and also grow from the top. Next we're going to move on to the tutorial so make sure you have your items ready. Now start off by finding a good location to build this. So my advice for a location would be somewhere where you're around a lot. Because this uses random tick which requires a player to be in the area for this farm to work. So start off by getting your chests and placing them like this. Get your hoppers and place them in like this. Now you're going to need some blocks so we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and the same with the other side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Then we're going to get our dirt, which is our temporary block. We're going to place a block here, which is our dirt. Place a block here and here. Here and here. You can break this. Just place some stone across here like this. And also on this side too. And repeat this on the other side as well. Next we're going to get our dirt, and we're going to place one here. I'm going to get our block and place it here. You can break this because it's in the way. And then we're going to have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then we'll need a building block and we'll place one here and here. And then one over here. Then place your dirt over here like this. A block here. And then you'll have to go across like this. And also the same on this side too. You're going to have to repeat this on the other side too. Next we'll need our temporary block which is our dirt. And we're going to place it here. Then we're going to get our building block and we're going to place one here. You can break this and we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then we're going to get our dirt again and place it here. Then we're going to get our building block and place it here. You can break this because it's in the way. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 like this. Then we're going to need to go across here. So put, put a block here. Go up across here. Put a block here. And across here. Then a temporary block and a block here. You can break this now. We're going to go across here. And then we're going to fill in this whole side over here. Then place a building block over here like this. Then put, put a seed lantern over here. Then put some blocks across here like this. And I'm going to have to fill this all in on this side. Then we'll need our moss blocks. Now go across here until you get to here. So until you get to these two. And you'll put some moss blocks across here. Then put a seed lantern over here like this. Now what you can do is you can fill this with water like this. And it'll go across here. You'll know you've done it properly because the water will go all the way over to the hoppers. And you'll have to repeat this step on this side. But, but when you build it on this side, don't add a sea lantern on the end over here. Just have a normal block here. Now yours should look a bit like this. So all filled in on this side and also that side too. Next we're going to be filling in the moss blocks. So we're going to put moss blocks across here. All the way until we get to the other end. And do it like this and just fill in this whole rectangle. Then fill in the other rectangle on this side. Then you should have all these rectangles filled in like this. Next get your building blocks and place them across like this. Then get some sea lanterns and place them over here or your light source. Then also do this on the other side so get some building blocks there. And sea lanterns across here. Then go four across in this direction. Then place some more sea lanterns over here. Then also do it on this side too, so go four across. And then fill in the blocks in the middle. Then go on this side, go one, two, three, four. Then get a sea lantern. 
One, two, three, four. Then get a sea lantern. One, two, three, four. Another sea lantern. And then one, two, three. Like this. And then do that on the other side too. Now your area should look a bit like this. Next get a sea lantern and place it over here like this. Then get some moss and place it across here until you get to the end here. Then you're gonna need some obsidian. Place it here. Then what you'll need to do is you'll need to get an observer. Place it in place like this. Place some more moss blocks across here. And put a sea lantern over here like this. Then put some blocks on top of here. So these have to be full blocks. Leave a gap here and place some blocks on top of here like this. Now repeat this all the way up. Three blocks. But place a block above here. Then get a full block and place it here. Get some moss blocks and place it across here. Like this. Now break this block over here and place an observer in its place, leave the space empty and put some obsidian here, get some moss and place it across here, like this, and a full block here. Then place some blocks above here like this. Then put a slab over here, get a repeater, place it in like this facing this way, and put it on 4 ticks. Then shift click, place a block on here, get a piston here, and an observer facing in this direction. Then repeat it over here, so get a slab, put a repeater, put this on 4 ticks, get a block, place it here, place a sticky piston here, then an observer over here, like this, then get a temporary block and place it here, put a block here, you can break that temporary block, and fill this all in. Next we're going to need our glass, so get a temporary block and place it here, then place some glass over here like this, you can break that block, then just fill in all of this glass here until you get to the end, so fill it in until you get to this water stream. And you're going to have to fill this all the way up until you get to the point to the top of that area. Then do the same on the other side too. So get some glass and fill it all the way until you get to the end. So when you get to here, you'll need to fill it all the way up. And you have to fill it up all the way to the top. Next, get some building blocks and go up. So go up all the way until the top of the glass, which is over here. Next, go across here with your building blocks until you get to the right center. Then you're going to use your moss blocks. Then place them all the way until you get to the end here on this side. Then break this block and go down, go down until you get to the bottom, then place some moss across here, until you get to over here, then get some full blocks and place them across here like this, and then down here, over here, and also over here too, then get some moss blocks and place them in like this, then put a block of obsidian and place it here, then a full block here and some moss here, then put some moss blocks down across here, and some full blocks over here. Then place a block over here, and a sea lantern here. Then go across with the blocks here, and across here. Then place a moss across here. Then place a sticky piston over here. Then a moss block up here. Then get a temporary block, place it over here. Put some moss across here, you can break this. Then get some full blocks and place them across here. And round in this rectangular shape. Place some moss blocks up here, like this. Then some full blocks across here. Then you're going to have to replace these full blocks with moss blocks. Then break this block over here and place a piston through here like this. Next place some obsidian over here like this. Now we're going to build this flying machine. So place some slime across here. And then some slime across here. Then we're going to put a block here. Now you're going to have to place a sticky piston in here so this is going to be quite hard. So it has to be facing inwards like this. Now place a temporary block here, and then place an observer in place. Place an observer facing into here like this, so it's facing into this slime block over here. Place some slime across here. Put a block here. Now face an observer in like this, and then put a slime block there. Get your sticky piston here. Put another sticky piston over here. Get a slime block in like this, and all the way across here. Now place an observer facing into here, so make sure it's facing upwards into the slime block, so it can power this piston here. Now you're going to want to test your fly machine, so the way you can test it is by just putting a temporary block here. And you can break it, and if the fly machine is flying across, then it's working. Now the way you can test this one to see if it works is you can place a block here, and an observer facing into here, and then just put a block here. 
Now you'll know that it's worked because it's flying across here. Next you're going to need your daylight sensor. Now this is the redstone bit, so place a daylight sensor over here. Place a slab here. Put some activator rail here. Put an observer facing into here like this. Put another slab here. Put a repeater here and make sure some vortex. Put a full block here and then some slabs across here like this. Now get some redstone dust and put it here. Now get some slabs and place them across here. So now get some redstone dust down here. And two repeaters here, they need to both be on four ticks. Put a block down here, a slab down here, some redstone dust here. A sticky piston here, an observer facing into here like this. Now next we're going to get our building blocks and we're going to place them across here, up here. Then put some more building blocks across here. Now over here we're going to fill this in with dripstone blocks. Now fill in this whole rectangle with all dripstone blocks. Now it has to be dripstone blocks so that the dripstone can actually grow. Then place some blocks up here. So we're going to go across here. I'm going to make sure that the water, which is going to be up here, won't be able to leak out. Put a temporary block here. And then some blocks across here. Fill this all in. Now get some water and place one here, 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 and just turn all of this into water sources. Then go this side and turn this all into water sources. And this will transform all of this into a water source. Now it all has to be a water source for this farm to actually work. Now place one dripstone for each of these dripstone blocks. So you have to fill in this whole rectangle. Now when you place in all the dripstone, your farm is finished. So now you can just leave your farm to run on its own. And it's completely automatic, so, you, so it means you don't have to do anything really. You just have to stay in the area. Now if you want to turn it off, you can add a lever here and switch it on. And that will mean that the daylight sensor won't do anything. If you have any questions about this farm or like need any help with any of these farms whatsoever, then make sure to join my Discord server because I'll be able to help you there. Or if you really can't join my Discord server, then leave a comment down below. It does help to leave a comment down below as well, so you can choose whichever one you want because if you join my Discord server, I can help you much quicker and much more easily compared to the YouTube comment section. Make sure to also leave a like on this video and if you want to, you can subscribe as well. It really helps the channel out a lot. And it also help you too because then you'll be notified when I upload. So you can find out when I've designed a new farm or released a new tutorial. And it could inspire you to build different farms in your survival world. So I'll see you in the next video if you're going to watch any more of my videos. And goodbye.